it's autumn, so naturally I'm in the woods. I'm here to talk about 10 strong niche fragrances, perfect for the autumn. The fragrances I'm talking about in this video are in no particular order. These are just 10 fragrances that I'm really enjoying. I'm also making a conscious effort to not just include the same old autumn fragrances. I feel like it's good for you to widen your radar a little bit, perhaps learn about a few new fragrances you didn't know existed. So I've decided to focus on quite new fragrances. Starting off with the House of Creed, and there's a couple of spicy boys from Creed that are perfect for the autumn. So I'm kind of including two Creed fragrances as this first one. Centaurus is one of the latest releases from Creed. This is an ambery spicy tobacco scent that really lends itself to autumn. Really enjoyable, but a little bit pricey. The other is Absolute Aventus. This is a darker, spicier version of Aventus. All the good stuff of Aventus, the pineapple, the birch. I'm actually surrounded here by birch trees, but there's some added spice to this. A little bit darker, which is why I think it is a bit more autumn appropriate. You can wear Aventus or Absolute Aventus any time of the year. They're both quite versatile, but when we're talking autumn, I'd say Absolute is the better one. Next is a stunning, very elegant fragrance from Atelier des Ors. This is Villa Primrose. I'd describe this one as an amber, fruity, jammy rose fragrance with spices and leather. There's just so much depth and quality to this fragrance. It is very, very strong. I love the fact that leather is in here. It's quite a robust note. It just adds some structure to the fragrance. Perfect for in the autumn. Really excellent stuff from Atelier des Ors, and you can't go wrong with a rose leather combo for autumn. You also can't go wrong with a boozy scent for autumn. This is one of my favorite at the moment. The booze in here is Cognac from Aaron Terence Hughes. We've got Addicted Plus. Everything you want for an addictive autumn scent, Cognac, cinnamon, honey, apple, chocolate, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. This is the plus version of the Addicted fragrance. And if you're wondering what the plus is, it's extra chocolate and vanilla. Oh yeah. Think tiramisu. Wear this and you'll be like a sexy, walking tiramisu. And let's be honest, who hasn't always dreamed of that? I know I have, nearly every night. Now we've got Ormond Jane bringing the autumn vibes with cashmere. This is a woody, spicy amber scent with incense and a standout note of Himalayan fur. What I really enjoy about Ormond Jane scents is they're never too thick and dense and heavy. Sometimes you're not in the mood for that. And despite it having a few darker, heavier sounding notes, the fur really brings an airiness and a freshness. If you want autumnal with elegance rather than heft, cashmere does the job. Next up, we've got the latest from Argos Fragrances. And as usual, this is a big, bold, beautiful scent, Sacred Flame. Quite floral with rose, patchouli, tuberose, jasmine, violet, but it's also very woody and spicy. This stuff just projects like crazy. It might be notes like the grapefruit, the ginger, and the pepper that are really weaponizing the projection. If you like big, bold, luxurious elegance, if you want to be smelled when you walk into a room, if you want people to smell you before you walk into the room, Sacred Flame will impress you. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favorite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. Just in time for autumn, Zaharoff have put out a spicy little number, Seraphim Red. Pink pepper, pine, creamy sandalwood, and gold vetiver. Not silver, gold. So it's better. I'd describe this as something truly unique. This is a marine autumnal scent. I've never heard of one of those before. I've never smelt one before, but now I have with Seraphim Red. The marine notes in the red seaweed really bring an oceanic quality. Oceanic autumnal, I'm in. This is my first time ever smelling anything from the London-based brand Check and Speak, and based on Amber 7, I'm definitely gonna check out more. There's eucalyptus, rosemary, lime, ginger, cedarwood, and vanilla. Another mashup merging fresh and ambery. This has a traditional gents barbershop cologne type of smell melded with amber. Very refined, sophisticated, very strong. The lime and the rosemary in this are absolutely stunning. It gives the fragrance an amazing opening pop. And when I smell this scent, it makes me think of a very sophisticated looking gent, maybe in a Savile Row suit, walking down an autumnal street. If you want bright, if you want ambery, if you want depth, if you want sophistication, if you want strong, I'd definitely check out Amber 7 from Check and Speak. So we're talking about strong fragrances. How about 40% oil concentration strength? How about Amouage Jubilation 40? Blackberry, blackcurrant, rosemary, frankincense, cinnamon, myrrh, and oud. 
beautiful spicy Middle Eastern smell despite a complex note breakdown and its strength. This is a very well behaved fragrance. It never gets obnoxious. You could wear this for any season. You could wear it casually, but for me, the ideal time to wear this is autumn for a formal occasion, probably dressed up wearing a suit. Pure autumn luxury right here. We're going dark and smoky now with Iris Cartagena from Bon Parfumeur. Cocoa, mandarin, rum, iris, sandalwood, vanilla, sugarcane, coffee, tar, leather, and smoky tobacco. But don't worry because there's also rum, chocolate, and vanilla to smooth everything out and bring a real deep sensuality. Such bold creativity, but at the same time, still very wearable. If you like darker scents, if you like sensual fragrances, if you like some smokiness, then Iris Cartagena. And the number on this one is 502, loving it. I told you I liked a bit of booze for autumn and I think this is one of the best whiskey scents out there. It's also brand new from Killian, old fashioned. Imagine the smell of the inside of a whiskey barrel after the whiskey has been taken out, that woody, oaky whiskey smell. Blend that with some fruit and cinnamon. Doesn't particularly smell like an old fashioned, doesn't even particularly smell like a straight up whiskey, but it does smell incredible. It's warming, it's comforting, it's sexy, it's luxurious. And you know what? I think this just might be my favorite release of this year. There you go, 10 excellent autumnal niche fragrances I'm really enjoying at the moment. Hopefully it's put a few new ones on your radar. If you found the video useful, if you liked it, you know what to do. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.